right. The next one is uh, we'll discuss about the bar chart. So, what is bar chart? These are used to compare larger changes or differences in data among some groups. Okay. See, uh, these are rectangular columns which are displayed and the size of the column will display the value of the measures. Okay. So this is called bar chart. So by seeing this bar chart, we can identify the low values as well as high values among some groups. Okay. Low values as well as high values. So it is easy to compare a group of category data. It is, uh, it is easy to compare a group of category data. Then we need uh, these bar graphs or bar chart, graph or otherwise chart, we can say. Okay. But how to create that bar chart? Come down here, uh, take a new sheet, worksheet. Any report you have to develop, but in each uh, worksheet, okay? Right, so this click on, so it will be created. So if you want to rename, you can select that and rename as the bar chart. Here, uh, a group of uh, a group of category wise, we need to compare. We need to compare. Okay, so that's the reason uh, we have one column that is a category. Okay, the category I'm bringing into your column shelf, as well as the subcategory also I'm bringing into column shelf. Okay, category as well as subcategory bringing into column shelf. The profit. A profit I'm bringing into row shelf. I'm sorry. So automatically, automatically a bar graph will be dispersed. This is a vertical. This is vertical bar graph. See, here I'm swapping the columns. See, swapping the columns. If I click it, that will be converted into, see, this is horizontal bar chart. This is vertical bar chart. <clears throat> this is called horizontal bar chart. Okay. See, uh, this is the break point. If it is here, this is the last. Okay. This is profits. So, but uh, uh, the data we need to present in another uh, format. Like, which is last, that should be in one color, and which is profit, that should be in one color. Then, one it, what, what we have to do? Get it? So good sales and poor sales we need to present in color format. So here, uh, uh, color as well as size also we can take. Uh, if required, we can add a different uh, aspects like color, size, etc. Okay. So I would like to <coughs> change the color. See uh, the category. Yeah, the category. Just a quick, uh, yeah. just a quick question. Yeah. Um. So on the on the shelf there, we have our columns and our rows. Yes. Um, so is it always that are on the row section? Yes. Uh, we are yes. supposed to put uh, um, measures? Yes. yes. Okay. See, just click on this, just click on this icon, see? Swap the rows and columns. See, automatically these are changed. So category, subcategory comes into rows and only the major values goes to columns. Okay, this is horizontal bar. We can say that this is horizontal bar. But if I click in one second here, it will be swapped. See, those columns goes to columns and rows goes to our measure. Okay. Okay. As per your requirement, you can you can okay. Number of times you have to present vertical, maybe horizontal also. Thank you. Right. No, right. <clears throat> here I would like to change the color. So this category a dimension. I'm dragging into color shelf. This is called color shelf. Automatically observe. This is one color. It is another color. It is another color because we have three categories. Three categories. Okay. One is furniture. Another one is uh, service suppliers and technology. Office technologies. Okay. So the color region <coughs> will be displaced here. If you want to change, you can change those. Colors and value. Okay. Right. Next. 
Uh, for example, if you want to change the uh, width of a bar, width of a bar as per your requirement. Say, for example, uh, I'm taking profit, okay? I'm taking profit and moving into size shelf, size shelf. See, based on the size, the profit we can analyze which is a width that is a good sales, which is a thin, so that is less sales, uh, less profit, sir, because we're dragging profit, okay? So instead of that, you can bring sales also. Sales also. Then here the data should display means here, this is the icon we have, show mark labels, just click the values also we can give. The values also we can give. So based on that, this is our sales, okay? Sales values, and by uh, I'm doing. If I'm bringing profits into size zero, yes. So the size will indicates with the profits, which is width is okay more width that is uh, good profits good profits so like that so here the height and width also we can change based on profit based on profit okay and this is called uh, this is called bar chart here observe uh, so this is a copy error Yes, see the copier, okay, here, observe that, a copier has the highest width and a table has, okay, table size thin, this is the table, okay, thin. So these are the low, low profits product and this is the highest profit product, like that. So by using among so many group, we can analyze the data easily, okay, right. See, uh, uh, now, uh, if I clicking this uh, uh, swap, okay, we are converting into here. You can observe here, okay, by uh, converting this into horizontal bar chart, okay, here uh, this zero, this is zero, this zero right side related values will be positive values, this zero related left side related. Uh, values are negative values. I can see that negative values. Okay. So it is a vertical bar chart, uh, then positive values as well as up for if it is uh, in this format. Upward means positive. Okay. Upwards means that is positive. Okay. Downwards means that is a negative values. Like that, you can identify easily. Okay. <coughs> we'll create a stacked bar. One more that is called stacked bar. Stacked bar chart. See what is stacked bar chart? It is a type of chart that displays categorical data using bars. Where is the bar represents a category and the height of the bar indicates the total value of the category. Okay, total value of the category. Observe here. Uh, come down uh, report level, create a new sheet, worksheet to develop one more uh, new work book, a new, new report. So it is a rectangular uh, column. Okay, anyway. It is a type of uh, uh, chart only, mm. but here I'm dragging uh, the reason, okay? Uh, so reason dragging into column shelf, okay? Reason dragging into column shelf, and the sales I'm dragging into row shelf. Reason by sales, these are the reason by sales. As now I'm dragging the category into color shelf, observe here. So this is called stacked bar chart. So here it represents a category. Okay, a category is a height. 
height is a category. But uh, here, this is indicates the total of value for a particular category. Okay, like that, like that, I can present the dimension within single bar chart. Two dimension within single bar. Chart. See, uh, while dragging any dimension into color shell, okay, then only we can get bar chart. This dimension, if I dragging any column, you can drag into color shell, uh, color shell, so I can get a stacked bar. Okay, but if I dragging any measure, see for example, come down, I'm dragging discount into color. See, we can't get stacked bar. We can't get stacked bar. So each box indicates categories in our stacked bar. Here there is no box in a particular category. Okay, so that's the reason if you want to develop, there should be two dimensions. But uh, based on two dimension, I can create a, a stacked bar chart. Okay, so like, so I'm dragging category into color shell. Now it will display as a stacked bar chart. So if you want to display the labels, click on this label icon. See, each category wise, total sales. And this is the uh, regional, regional, region data, particular uh, category in a particular region. The region is south, the category is office suppliers, the sales is also. Sales is so also. Okay. So, like that, you can present your data. This is called a stacked bar chart. This is called a stacked bar chart. Next. One create level bar chart. You can create level bar chart. So, what is level bar chart? See, observe here. I'm dragging uh, category into our column shelf, as well as the sales I'm dragging into uh, row shelf. Okay, row shelf. The same way, the region also we need to drag into column shell. So region wise, category wise, total sales we are displaying. In the same way, the profit I am bringing into color shell. I'm sorry. So here, this is called a level bar chart. Level bar chart. So each region wise each category wise what are the profits that what are the loss i can present what are the profits what are the loss i can present see this is a less profit this is the loss this is the average okay good so based on this uh, based on this i can so if you need the shade will be displayed otherwise if you want to take as a five five otherwise two Good enough. Okay. Usually we can analyze. So this is a loss in a particular central that is furnitures. But remaining are good sales. Good sales. Like that. So it is called level bar chart. Okay. And one more interactive bar chart. Interactive bar chart. So we'll take a new sheet. Interactive. Chart and drag to bar chart. Okay, so here uh, in the subcategory, okay, into our uh, column shell. Next to uh, the measure, we can drag into low shell, row shell. Okay, next to uh, I'm dragging the category into filter shell, category into filter shell. Observe. Select all, select all, apply. Okay. So when filter is applied on this report, but show present to display this one, click on here and click on show filter. That will be red, red side. Observe if I selected uh, only furniture, only technology related data I can. If it is furniture, office, only office. 
furniture only furniture all so when we are selecting these that related values will display so i can say that it is an interactive bar chart interactive bar chart we are applying condition and category and the category is subcategory values we can display <coughs> i can display so this is called uh, interactive bar chart interactive bar chart next one more we'll see uh, using page shelf using page shelf we are using page shelf so how to use page shelf see uh, to breaking our view okay to breaking our view we need to uh, take page shelf for animation purpose like uh, uh, i'm creating a new sheet so here uh, i'm dragging subcategory into row shelf subcategory into row shelf and the sales i'm bringing into column shelf okay then we the region the region i'm bringing into page shelf see here we have filter we have page we have page shelf. After, when we are dragging any field into page shelf, it becomes a discrete field and distinct values considered as a page. Okay, that means page controlling will display at right side. You can come down, you can select any central means central related in a page we can view, and east related that will be in another page and south region that is another page and west means other another page so like this also you can click you can click you can click okay. so like right get it so like that so page i can take page wise uh, individual uh, region wise data i can present individual data i can present so these are the uh, some reports these are the some reports okay so these are the bar graph and uh, we'll take some more or if you want to do practice shall i take some more oh yes uh, you can do so the last one that you just did what is it called this is called uh, yeah, yeah using page shelf we can use filter the filter means uh, easy regional data i'm representing in a particular page see okay this is one page this is another page this is another page this is another page okay so each uh, central related subcategory data if you want to present in one page and uh, east related uh, subcategory data if you want to present in another page okay you can present like tab pages like tab pages in single report only but multiple pages reports i'm presenting single report only. this is single worksheet single worksheet but we are representing multiple pages so like that okay so that is called page shelf so uh right and uh, uh shall we take one more mm -hmm. yes so we'll take uh, another one is line graph line graph see uh, these are uh, generally used to show time series data a time series data if you want to represent then we need to use line graph it shows how one or more variables vary over a continuous period of time when a smaller changes exist the line graphs are better to use than bar graphs okay next it is used to do trend analysis if you want to do trend analysis we need to use line graph so overall a year profit or sales ratio we can analyze that means a period of data 
a period of data if you want to analyze. A period of data means that is a trend analysis. Then, for example, year wise, quarter wise, month wise, week wise, day wise business growth we can observe while creating any line graph. See, to do this a trend analysis, okay, we need compulsory a date field. Without a date field, we can't develop any line graph or line chart. So, when we are using date column, automatically the tableau will display line graph only. Automatically, automatically will display line graph. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, we'll do one example. Right. <laughs> I'm dragging category as well as uh, one more dimension that is subcategory I'm dragging into column shape. Okay, next. So, no, no, because, uh, sorry. So, we need date field. Without date field, we can't develop. Right. Uh, here, observe, I uh, would like to use date field. Right. Uh, order date is there. Okay. The order date I'm bringing into column shape. And uh, maybe profit or loss, uh, profit uh, will bring into our Portion. See, automatically chart that is line chart will display because in 2004, what are the sales? In 2015, what are the sales growth? In 2016, what are the sales growth? In 17, what are the sales growth? Observe here. Get it? So, like that, automatically, see, observe uh, the, the early graph will be displayed here. Okay, this is a line graph. Why? Because we are using a date field. So if I use date field, automatically that will be this place. Okay. So it is a it is called maybe I can say that the trend analysis. What is the growth level for each year wise, each month wise, each day wise? Also, I can compare. Okay. See here, observe here the profits are increasing every year for for, for all four years. Okay. The sales are increasing. Good. So here, uh, line graphs are two types. Line graphs are two types. One is, the, one is a discrete line graph. Discrete. Another one is a continuous line graph. Discrete means it will display in short form. As well as continuous means it will display in long form. To change into another continuous. For example, uh, click on this show. By default, it is by default it is discrete. If I clicking continuous, see. If I clicking continuous, it, it, it should display in long format. It should display in long format. Okay, so that means line graph will be in two types. That is discrete as well as uh, continuous. Okay. Here, highest level is here, so we can't get much difference, okay? Highest level is here, so that's the reason we can't get much difference. So we have to change into detailed level, then only we can get some difference, okay? How to change in details? Okay, first I'm coming here. And clicking by default, it is a discrete. By default, a discrete. Okay. So this is continuous. This is continuous. Okay. Click on uh, uh, this is here. And if I click this plus icon, it will be goes to drill down. See, this is a quarter. In a year, the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. And this is the first quarter in total 15, second quarter, first quarter. So in detail, when just you can click on here, automatically that will be drilled down. 
So year to quarter, quarter to month, month to week, week to day. Click, see? Now it is in month wise. See, this is the first month, the second month, this is the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, like that. Got it? So if it is uh, uh, discrete, it is a short form. If it uh, continues, it is a long form. So like that, like that, uh, if I clicking this month, uh, it will be drilled into week. Each week wise, in four years wise, the data will get displayed. Okay, so this is called line graph. This is called line graph. So this video also will uh, send you and to these examples so because it is very, very easy, but while doing uh, while doing only you can get some problems so because we need uh, the navigation speed also. We need the navigation speed also. So that's the reason because tomorrow is a, uh, we are not, we have, we, we have no class. So that's the reason I'm providing some uh, examples. So do these examples and we'll meet on Monday. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, Monday. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, okay, no? yeah, thank you. Thank Great. you so much. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, bye.